Good evening, everybody. Dan DeBacle here with another episode of Fire Pro Wrestling World. And uh, I guess I haven't really done too many episodes, so I kind of give you an idea as far as what I'm doing here. But basically, what I want to do with this uh, playlist, this uh, with this game, is relive some of my favorite views, my favorite childhood memories, and you know things that I just want to share and talk about. So basically, uh, here is a match between Earthquake and Jake the Snake Roberts. And here's a reason why I decided to pick them. Now, Jake the Snake Roberts was a huge wrestler back in the day. And he had this uh, snake called Damien. And he's had different iterations of Damien. Some of them like normal bow constructors. Some of them like, uh, I don't know, albino or whatever. But essentially, uh, he had this snake called Damien, right? But you don't always have it inside this uh, uh, sack. Sometimes he would put the, uh, after the end of the match, he would put the snake on top of the, uh, you know, the knocked out guy and, you know, scare him, no big deal. But then, here comes, sorry, the plane outside. Anyway, so basically he uh, comes up against this guy named Earthquake. Now, Earthquake is this larger-than-life guy. He's well over uh, 300 and some odd pounds, maybe even 400 at the time. He's extremely agile. I mean, when he does his finishing move, where he bounces off the uh, two ropes, it happens... I mean, I don't think that I could run it that fast. And, you know, I'm half the size of this guy. But uh, what he does is he... Uh, leaps in the air and then sits on top of the guy crushing his chest and, and you can there's no way that this could be fake i mean it looks like he's crushing the guy so basically there was this feud between him and jacob snake roberts and uh what he does he uh and I'll, I'll read this here in the early to mid 1991 roberts engaged in the feud with earthquake who squashed, quotation marks, Damien with a pair of earthquake splashes during their match on the April 27th edition of WWF Superstars of Wrestling. So, basically, he sat on top of the snake and crushed it and killed it. Now, of course, this is kayfabe. It didn't really actually happen because it's, you know, uh, SPCA or whatever the, you know, the pet people are. But basically... It was a, 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 a fake bat. Now, I just happened to watch a YouTube video, Take the Snakes Roberts. He put 60 pounds of the hamburger meat and ladies' pantyhose uh, inside the bag. That way that when uh, Earthquake, John Tenta, sat on top of the bag, the blood would seep out. You know, so, <laughs> you know, to give that visual image, that's what they use, that's what they use to, you know, give the image of him actually killing the snake I remember 1991 he killed the snake and I was so pissed off at Earthquake anyways great moment um, would never happen today but here we go here is a uh, revenge match a simulation of Earthquake versus Jake the Snake Roberts a little bit about uh, Earthquake. Earthquake's real name is John Tenta. Uh, I actually, you know, the older I got, the more I realized how great Earthquake was. He was extremely agile. He was a, uh, a great performer in the ring. He basically did whatever you told me to do. If you want me to be a shark, I'll be a shark until he got too pissed off and he's like, no, I am not a shark. I'm a man. I can, you know, I deserve more than this. But he, he did whatever he could to, you know, uh, better the company. And uh, in Japan, he was actually a sumo wrestler. Uh, that's how he got his, uh, his uh, first start. And what stopped him from being a professional uh, sumo wrestler is his upper right hand arm. He had a tattoo, uh, which tattoos are not 
something you should be doing, uh, you know. Uh, but uh, even though he had great success, he tried covering it up, got tired of the politics, and decided, you know what? I want to be a pro wrestler, and a pro wrestler he did. Now, Jake the Snake Roberts, one of the greatest wrestlers uh, of his time. He was so good. He, he was one of those rare types that could be top of this game, but never need to have a title. So what Jake uh, did, my favorite moves out of him was his left jab. I mean, it was just beautiful way that he snapped it. His DDT, which he invented. This is the inventor of the DDT. And uh, his short arm clothesline. Uh, so if I ever became a wrestler, those would be the three things I would take away from Jake Snake Roberts. Ooh, poke in the eyes. Also, uh, he did have a bit of drug addiction. Uh, if you ever get a chance, uh, take a look at uh, Diamond Dallas's uh, page. Ooh, threw him outside the ring and with the taunt. Oh, grab the chair. What's gonna happen? What? Oh, the drops the chair. No DQ. But yeah, so basically he became really out of shape, really in, uh, in, in a tough position. Uh, Diamond Dallas Page, who recently developed, well, at least it's been a while now, but basically he developed uh, his uh, yoga and uh, through some rehab. Of, man, Jake the State Roberts is doing great. Arm bar by John Tenta, Earthquake. the suplex and throws him out of the ring. One, Great reversal by the two. big man. Earthquake. Also a uh, tag team champion with uh, Typhoon. He used to be Tugboat, which I still think is hilarious. Tugboat's another big dude. Another guy just barrel chested. You would not want to meet these two guys in a uh, dark alley. Unfortunately, Earthquake did pass on a couple of years ago. Way too early, in my opinion. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, anytime you die. Now, this is the second time I've done this match. Earthquake actually destroys uh, Jake the Snake Robert. Jake the Snake worker in the arm. Ooh, side suplex by Earthquake. There it is. Earthquake. One, two, is it over? 2.9. This is what happens. Earthquake is just too strong, man. Into the ropes. Ooh. Shoulder tackle, working the uh, neck. Earthquake breaks out. Atomic drop, dropping the knee. Oh, sits right on top of his head. That's gotta be it, gang. One, two, three. This is actually uh, about three minutes longer than my last. Match. That's why I talk really fast. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Earthquake is just, just massive. Just absolutely massive. I would have loved to seen him uh, wrestle some of the current talents, such as Brock Lesnar or Von Strowman, because, I mean, he had the gift. Anyways, 71% uh, match valuation. Didn't really get to call the match too much because too excited about talking about the actual uh, people themselves but hey that's what i'm doing this is what i like about wrestling the history behind it you know reliving those memories because if you don't have those memories then you know hey anyways thank you all for watching today um i will 
uh, be reviewing, seeing what else I can do as far as ideas on uh, matches. And again, hey, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you around the next time for the <laughs> Fire Pro Wrestling World. Eh, whatever the hell I do next. Alright, catch you guys later.